Matt, great surfing over the weekend, buddy. Um, like I mentioned on the beach, just a small concern regarding your uh, board. I see how it's narrowed your stance. Happy with your tactics and your, your high work ratio in the water. Here we're going into a steep bottom turn, classic uh, bottom turn, more vertical, more vertical into the pocket and releasing the tail. I see a lot of your turns being very similar. Great look down over there. Uh, then you go back into your cutback, good rebound. Your previous wave was a barrel. So here again, you're setting up for your barrel. Would have been nice to have a rebound off the foam there, change direction, come through here with more speed and finish the wave off with a good lip line floater. That would have been a bit more functional than the small barrel you're going for here as you had a barrel in your previous wave. The narrower stance isn't really allowing you to release the tail as much as you used to. I can see a good bottom turn there, more vertical up a, approaching the lip. There you're kind of turning just below the lip. There might have been a funny bump on the wave. But there again, looking for you to throw the tail out the top of the wave and then good look down out of that turn. Matt, you're surfing really fast and dynamic. There's a good speed turn over there, slight variation of, of your top turn. And there's another top turn. Again, your top turn is looking similar. Here's the speed turn, a good drive off the back foot. The other alternative was to come around that sec over that section with a nice floater. Then good bottom turn here, good vertical look. When you start approaching the lip, I'm looking for you to go more vertical at that point over there. And then release the tail more at that point there. There's a little bit of a release tail, a wider stance, or maybe a difference in the board shape might help you release the tail. And then more vertical out of your top turns when you're coming out at that point there.